doesn't feel like it's clipped on properly to be honest. That's better. Evening guys, Dan Lomont. So I'm gonna try to set up one of these grow bag watering systems, the hose lock. Try to get one in here at least tonight. I'll give you a bit more distance. So never set one up, so we'll see how it goes on. I'm gonna try and find somewhere to stand here because I've now got a new stand for this GoPro. So we'll have to see if it gets into a decent position for you guys. So bear with. See if we get you a better angle here. So, when you first open these up, come like this. Get rid of the sides. In some case of these, just clip in. As such, with a little weight on it. Can you see that? A little weight. And obviously, the more you fill it, it goes. So, when it starts to fill up, it tells you how much is actually in it. That doesn't feel like it's clipped on the rock, to be honest. It's better. Right. The camera took a bit of a tumble then. Um, no fault putting it onto a bit of a cautious area, let's say. So, four wicks, four spikes. So, let's put it through here. Let's put it through this the actual this part. And then it goes through to the base. As such through to the base, try and make them even, what I do then is, you put that onto one of these here, like so, and it's just a case of work your way along. Grab you, let's show you what we've been doing. So, that is the basic setup of them. Obviously, set the gel out. No one there is now all set up. Just got to cut the holes for the grow bags and put stuff in. First of all, before I actually fill these, I'll be filling these tomorrow. I'll just be cleaning this out a little bit more to put the other one down there down there so <clears throat> that's the basic hose lock uh, grow bag of water it's not paid or promoted or anything like that so let's put you down here there you go two together i'll probably shift this as well make it move over a little bit because i don't want to move that too one because we've got rackings in here that we'll stop be using. The thing is, I might use these rackings to tie the poles to. This one here is back a little bit. So these two here 
or possibly be four, maybe chilies or tomatoes. I don't really know, we'll see what comes in here. Put on pause for a second. What I need to do now is get your gun bag, like four. I've got to see me a bit better this time. Just place it on and give it a bit of a rock. So the spikes in there a bit. And just give it a bit of a squash down, just be careful. You can see where the spikes come through. Like so. That's really the base of them. I don't think I've noticed that my flags lean backwards in, in here. So I'm going to try and get this level because if I'm going to fill it up, it's all just going to go to the back. But that's basically the grow back is in situation on the Hold up your old things. Alright guys, that's them both in. I've got a couple more bags here. I'm just gonna use them for um pod veggie pods or buckets etc. So we'll leave this one here for these, but I'm gonna show you outside what I've done with the actual bed that we've been making. Right, we can see that it's weekend, but not for long, because we had the little one. So what we've actually done with this pallet core is you can probably see it's raised on bricks. This one won't just put cardboard in here out of the way, um, because we're clearing that bed over there. We need to get some more brassicas in there. This lot in here, we did a lot of um, garden work at home. So what this lot is, is actually shredded um, bushes. You can probably see the leaves there. Bushes, branches, grass clippings. So it's got a lot of browns and greens mixed. It also looks like we've got a couple of um, snails in there, but they don't look like the like this straw side of it. So off he goes. So what I'm going to do is empty this bag in here, and then we'll see how it looks then. Let's see if we can place it down somewhere without dropping you this side. How we're looking there, we're looking. Now this has got wet, this one, so it's a bit heavy. That was bone dry. You can see this one is a lot greener than waste. Plastic labels in there and all sorts. <laughs> this smells a bit ripe, this was just rotting in that bag, it was. We also had a little bit of a fire at home, so you'll probably notice a bit of ashes in there, but that's, that's that filled out. And this is actually rubber. So I'm hoping that lasts for a bit longer. I can't get any rubber for that one. 
Um, so that's going to have to be the old um, plastic. But to be honest, it shouldn't really make much of a difference. They're not perfectly square, but at the end of the day, it's a growing space, it's an allotment. So, yes, I've got to screw these together. <coughs> I need to screw those together before I line at this side. Slightly out. But let's be realistic, as long as you can grow in it, that's okay. So I'll leave that for a while, that one there. Let it rot down a little bit. Got some old compost over there, well, new compost in old bags, that makes sense. And they'll be going on there as well. <clears throat> so it's actually Monday night. Too bad in there, now is it? Oh, that's our bed prepped. Nice brown, black, brown colour. Some more brass doing that sort of. I think they might be my sprout bed. Right, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. All helps with the algorithm. Thank you. Bye bye.